Hello to all my lively ladies. You're very welcome to today's full body sweaty cardio workout. All right, before we begin, it's important that we do a warm up. So let's get going now. Step touching and sweeping those arms out both sides of the room. That's good. Now, the more limbs we get moving, the quicker we're going to get our bodies warmed up. So let's try and get those arms matching with the legs. That's it. And up and up. So we have a couplet, a bodyweight couplet today. So two, uh, just two exercises repeated twice and we have six sets making it 24 minutes. That's it, up and up. Let's count this out. Four, three, stay here now, two, and this is the last one. Okay, now we're going to step and reach out either side reach and reach nice big arms above the head really helps to bring that heart rate up for us that's it step and reach step and reach good now let's sweep out in front now keep the legs doing the same thing just bring the arms down a little lower and reach step and reach good Sweep right across and be nice and strong with your arm moves there. Well done. Now you're ready to punch down to the floor. Four here, three, two, last one. Step and punch right down. So we're working all angles of the room. Step and punch. Good. Now, if you want to, you can add a light little pair of weights with today's work. And I think a lot of the moves here would work really well with some light weights. If you're having a tired day and you just want to move your body, that's fine. You just do the body weight like I am. Let's do four and three, two, and last one. And heel digs. Bring the arms up in front, help balance the body. Lift and lift and lift up. Good. So we're getting all these joints through their full range of movement to get us ready now for our class ahead. Up and up. Lift and lift. That's good. Let's do four and three, two, and last one. Now hold our legs out wide, sit and swim those arms. Keep your chest up now, send your tailbone to the floor. Swim those arms for me. Around we go. Feeling the shoulder blades moving somewhat behind you there. That's it, good work. Well done. And around we go. two more and last one some stationary walks and then we'll get started okay so we're going to start off with a step over and into a ski squat so a lovely dynamic exercise working all those big muscle groups you keep continue there and I'll show you this first move so just stepping over into a ski squat Okay, just repeat that. Now our sequence today is 10.50 to do our 50 seconds to do our work. 10 is just a quick transition for each move. You can increase your rest time if you need to here if you find 50 seconds is too much for you. Right, let's go. And down, over and down. Two exercises now, remember. Repeat it twice. Six sets. Down we go. Step over and down. Sweep those arms. And over we go. Step it over, sweep down. Good work. Keep it going. Be nice and strong now with that ski squat for me. Step it over. You're feeling those legs working hard, inner and outer thighs, and of course the quadriceps at the front and our glutes behind. Last one here. Well done. Okay, exercise two. We have toe taps. 
Then we're gonna X the arms up and down the body, okay? Let's go with that. Tap it out, reach up over the head. X and X. Try not to bump your hands off each other as they pass up and down in front of you. Nice and controlled moves. Tap your toe, reach up. And you can slow it down a little bit if you need to, that's fine. Or if you're feeling really full of energy today, take up the pace. Up over the head and down. Now we have to repeat these two moves again. So we're back to our step over, ski squat. Good work, a few seconds to go. Excellent, march it out. Okay, now let's get ready to do our lateral move again. Any second now, over we go. Okay, squat and ski. Sit the bottom down, you really feel your glutes working here with this ski squat move. And over, sit down, that's it. Step it over, good. You can make that step over a little bigger if you're feeling a little bit more flexible. Round two, push back there, that's it. Lovely stretch there for the chest, the front of the chest there and the shoulders. Great mobility. And over. And over. Good work. And back. And back. Well done. Excellent job. Okay. Toe taps, Xing the arms in front. And we'll head into set two. Okay. All right, get the feet down first, tap out those toes, and X. Well done. Up and over. Up and over. Come on, we can do this. Reach up over the head. Up and over. Lift and lift. Good, keep going now. Last few seconds now. We have 15 seconds to go, and we move on to set two. Up and up. Now set two, we're starting off with just a little jog, or you can just do knees up if you want. Don't want to do any sort of hopping or jumping moves. So it's a little jog and a pec deck. Okay, so if you don't want to do that, just do knees up and pec deck. Okay, get the legs going first. Now this is gonna bring us to eight minutes once we do the two rounds of it. Open and close. Nice fast feet. That's it, good work. Come on, we're doing great. bit faster if you want to. Good. Now really open up those elbows there. Nice stretch again for the chest muscles. Double step back is next. We're going to add a tricep push back to that move. And there you go. Well done. So we've one, two. So we're doing double. And then the other leg. So switching. And then we'll get the arms going as well. Okay, let's go together. One, two, and change. That's it. One, two, and switch. We can do single legs if you prefer. That's good. Switch the legs after one rep. You can do that as well if you want to. Push back. Come on, really feel the arms working here. Good. And step, and step. One and two. One and two. Good. And again, now we're back to a little jog and pec deck. The couplets, they do come around pretty quickly, the exercises. Good. Step and step. Keep breathing throughout each move now. Let's do one more here. Good. Well done. Okay. March it out. 
Now we're taking it up into a little jog or a little knees up. You don't want to do any hops or jumps today. Little jog. Now peg deck. If your arms get tired throughout the 50 seconds. It's a tough one to do for 50 seconds, the peg deck. Just jog it out. Pretend just jump rope it. That's it, that's fine. This is like a variation of jump rope. You can use your imagination if you are jumping or jump roping and you're not actually using a rope you've got more options available for you but for your arms that is anyway <laughs> open and close come on keep going this is getting the heart pumping now feel the blood flowing around the body it's great excellent well done Okay, march it out, get ready for double step back or tricep push back. Keep those legs marching now, heart rate's high. Okay, let's go. One, two, switch for two. One, two, and change for two. Now pretend you're pushing something really heavy behind you, really make your triceps work hard. It's amazing what you can do with just body weight. That's it, good work. And one, and two. I'm leaning a little bit at the waist here, just to allow my arms to push back into a full range of movement there. That's it. Two, good. And one, and two. Now we're heading into set three to bring us up to 12 minutes. Shuffle across the room and reach down. That's optional. If you don't want to reach down, that's fine. So we're just gonna do a shuffle and just press down if you want to, okay? All right, let's go with this one. Shuffle and down. You don't even have to go down as far as the floor. Just a little reach down will do fine. That's it, good. And down. And down, I left my dumbbells in the way. <laughs> down we go you try and keep your workout space clear and down we go come on keep going Got a nice boxing move next and of course you can step this if you're tiring that's it reach down if you're getting tired just step it across the room that is perfect okay are we ready now for side step? And then we're gonna do a hook and a hook, okay. All right, let's go get the legs first. Now hook for two. Come on, both sides. Let's keep the heart rate up after those last, those shuffles. That's it, good. Step, step, just step out on your toe here. Punch it out, punch it out. Come on, you're doing great. Feel your back muscles working. Hook, hook, mommy, nice and strong. You don't have to turn your hand into a fist. We don't want to send tension to your neck, down your arm and up to your neck, but just be strong there with your punches or your hooks. Hook, hook, come on, we're nearly there. Back to exercise one. Excellent work, okay. Now we're gonna shuffle across or step. You don't have to do any hops or jumping today. Okay, step it across if you need to. Shuffle and reach down and down. Ooh, mobility, mobility is much better. Second time round, back doesn't feel as stiff. And down we go. Reach down, good work. Try not to round your back, keep your head up. Good work. And down. Keep going, come on, we're doing a great job here today. Really feeling the muscles working hard. And over we go. One more. Excellent work. Good job with that one, that was tough. 
All right, side step and hook. Let's get ready for that one. All right, this will bring us to 12 minutes. Good, hook. Slow it down if you need to, that's fine. We can take up the pace. Starting to feel the energy flowing now. Now we're going into, head into set four now. We're going to start off with some little hops from one side or from one, hopping just at one, from one area to the other. Best way to explain it. And of course, you're just going to step it if you're doing low impact. Come on, we have a few here to go. And then we'll move on to that one. Well done. Okay, so we're just going to hop over. This is a firm favor with my Tabata workouts. Now, if you don't have to do that, you could just step, step over. And actually, you can really lift your legs high here if you want to pretend you're stepping over an obstacle. Okay, that's another option. We can hop it over and hop, jump it over. Nice and light on your feet. Even when you're doing high impact exercises, you don't have to be hard on your, your joints. Nice and light, hop it over. One and two, one. Use the arms to balance the body. That's it, good. And across, over we go. I'm gonna follow this now with a knee raise sweeping the arms up to the ceiling the next move is great fun and over we go hop and hop just there now last one excellent so we're going to do a knee raise and then we're going to sweep up to the ceiling as that knee drives up okay so the three limbs so to speak are all going in the same direction that's it good Keep going, come on. Great stretch here for the glutes. I really am feeling them with this video shoot today. I did a uh, kettlebell workout the other day while I was using a kettlebell for the swings. And uh, really feeling my butt cheeks today with each exercise. This feels good though, it's a nice stretch for it. Up and up. Lift and lift. Reach up, good work, last 10 seconds, come on, reach it up, reach it up, and up, and up, and there you go, well done, that looks really well, okay, hops again, let's get ready for that, now another lateral exercise, great to do regularly, hop it over, remember now just step it over if you want to, and hop, Good, and over we go. Hop it over. Use those arms. And over, and over. Come on, you're doing great. Hop. Keep going. Remember, reduce your work time if you find the 50 seconds is getting a little bit long for you. You can finish up a little bit earlier and have more rest time. Good work, come on. We're nearly there. And over, and over. Just there now, last one. Great work, okay. March it out, get ready for knee raise, sweep up. And then we have two sets left after this move. Okay, knee and up, and sweep. Spot if you want to move around as you lift that knee up and up lift and lift good let's keep that heart rate elevated up we go and up and up reach up come on you're doing great and reach reach Lift up, come on. Now we're going to do a double leg curl next with a tricep pushback. So a little bit more tricep work coming into today's class. And last one. So a double is two on one side. 
and then the other side and then just push the arms back okay push push all right let's go with that and push back drive those arms back now really feel those triceps again make those arms heavy that's it good work come on keep going go a little faster if you want to bring that heart rate up again it's two and one and two and switch good now really try and kick your rear out here so that you give a good contraction for that hamstring behind you there one and two good got a heel tap next and a nice big arm move overhead one and two and two and last one okay heel tap and overhead right let's get ready for this one right tap out it's actually your heel yeah tap out your heel or you can do your toe if you want it's fine whatever you prefer if you want to do heel because we had toe at the beginning now big arm over the head come on clap it out well done keep going reach and lower reach and lower good work that's a great job here feeling those arms fatiguing if they are bring them out in front that's fine because over the head for almost a minute is tough it is very tough just there now last three seconds there you go you made it through excellent work okay little jog in the middle or a little fast feet in the middle just to keep the heart rate elevated that's what we want throughout our workout okay one two one two now triceps one two good change over and push back and two good one, two nice pivot on the foot there it's lovely it's really easy to do that when you're in socks one two and change now take a moment and really contract your hamstring there that's the muscle that's uh, the back of your leg just above the knee good one two last few seconds come on two good switch it around excellent and last one okay now either a toe tap heel tap whatever you want here i'll do heel and then arms over the head okay let's go this is a lovely one again for really working on that shoulder mobility which a lot of us are lacking in now due to being in a seated position and slumped forward a lot during the day so these exercises are great to do regularly that's it come on clap clap it out again if you really are getting tired just bring it out to the front that's it about 10 seconds out in the front then you can finish out the the interval with them over your head that's it now overhead we'll finish it out here we've only 10 seconds to go come on then you're heading into your last set good keep going come on well done excellent job now we're into a step touch chest press shoulder press now if your arms are too tired for shoulders just do chest press okay chest shoulder chest shoulder that's it feeling the burn here with the upper half push away just stay with chest press if you want to for a few seconds that's it push away when you drive those palms away pretend you're pushing pushing something heavy away in front of you shoulders again push shoulders that's it good work let's speed up those legs good let's go come on we're doing great nearly there now 10 seconds to go and then we're moving on to squat and side leg lift that's it good work and we repeat it again last one excellent water burn that was for the upper body 
even giving it a little rest there. <laughs> okay, so we're squat, side leg lift. All right, let's go. Side leg lift, let's do the other side as well. Side leg lift. And lift, down and lift. And lift, great. Keep going, come on. And lift, sit your hips down, keep the chest high. Squeeze it out. And squeeze. And lift. I'm repeat these two again to bring us up to 24 minutes. And up. sit down and squeeze. And last one. Okay, well done. Great job. All right, two moves left. Back to step touch, chest press, shoulder press. Our arms have had a lovely break now, so we'll be able to give it our all. Okay, let's get those legs going. Chest, up, chest, up, and lift up. That's it, good work, and lift. Reach right up to the ceiling there, get a great length in the arms there. Out in front, and up high. Lift, come on, we can do this. Strong ladies here, working hard together. Up and out, reach. And out. Come on, we're doing a great job. We're nearly there. Into the last few seconds. And we move on to our squat and side leg lift. Last one. Good work. Okay. All right. Squat, side leg lift. Whew. There really is a full body burn, that step touch, shoulder press, chest press, down, squeeze it out. And this is a real lower body burn. That's it, squeeze it out. And drop, keep the chest up now. Hands in prayer position will encourage a nice upright chest. And squeeze it out, good. And if you'll enjoy today's workout, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button below the video here. That just lets me know you're enjoying the workouts. Good, and I'll create more for you like this. It also lets the YouTube algorithm know that you are liking what you're seeing and it may push me out just a little bit more. That's it, good work. And last one. And there you go. Big clap to you. What a wonderful workout you did today. Excellent job, well done. Keep the body moving now just for another second or two while we cool ourselves down. We'll just decrease the range of movement with our legs and arms. That allows the heart rate to come down without stopping altogether. Just do that for a little while. Good work. Okay, now we are going to, we're going to a split squat position. Now this is just a lovely mat I picked up in a local supermarket. It's really lovely and soft. And um, I actually use it for housework as well as exercise. So it's come in really handy. But uh, if you haven't got anything like this, just a towel will do, a cushion or even your exercise mat. But this is just amazing. And it was only about, wasn't that expensive. You know, it wasn't even about seven euro. It was, it's great value and it's really, really, Come in handy for me. So we're just going to press our body forward, put our hands down on the ground and just feel that lovely stretch coming into the inside of the leg here and opening up the hips for us. Just wonderful hip mobility, always always working and keeping your hips strong and mobile. That's great. Feels really nice. Come back up, reach up and lean forward slightly so that you do feel like a nice stretch in your hip flexor here, the psoas muscle down into your quadricep. And stretch right up to the ceiling. Try not to arch your back, lean forward a little bit. That's great, that feels really good. Great work. Now, let's go around and do the other side. So again, just give your body a few seconds to just to get into the stretch. Get a few knots out of those inner thigh muscles, then put your hands down on the floor. 
that's great that feels lovely hold that there for a few more seconds come up reach up to the ceiling lean slightly forward there for me reach right up this feels really good done stretch right up for me excellent work okay now I'm going to do a calf stretch so um, I'll obviously need a bigger mat for that if you're on a carpeted area you should be okay so let's go down and I'll actually turn this way for you reach down and Hold on to your feet, and this is our baby in the cot stretch, or baby in the crib stretch. Now it's much easier to do a footwear on because just you may feel a little bit uncomfortable holding onto your toes. Try and straighten your legs somewhat. They don't have to be fully straight because you'll still feel a good stretch in your calf, even though the legs are not totally straight. That feels good. Hold it. Okay, now let's go into our number four stretch. This is lying down. Push that leg away. Put your hand through your little upside down triangle that you formed with your both legs. And again, just drawing that leg towards your chest. That feels lovely. Keep your toes relaxed. And I know your head might be starting to complain a little bit just to try and minimize neck tension just drop your chin towards your chest you should be able to fit your fist under there whatever you do do not look up to the ceiling that's going to really bring in a lot of neck tension as your neck hangs off its extensors so drop your chin look look out the little triangle you formed with your leg that's the best position for your neck and even if you're doing floor work or tummy work on the floor same rules apply well done okay and we'll sit up and let's just sit in that 90 degree position that's again excellent for the hips and this is this is a stretch I do very regularly and I just sit here and I just hold it and just enjoy it after my workout and reflect on what I've done <laughs> this feels really nice now it's so basic it's so basic but it's so important for our the health of our joints particularly our hips you might find one side you're a little bit more lopsided than the other that's okay we all have imbalances in our body always something to work towards to improve well done just again holding it on my own now my own workouts I might hold this for up to a minute or even two but just for the sake of time today and video length <laughs> um, I can only give you about 20 seconds or so right let's go into child pose sit back but of course, you can always pause the video and repeat. Walk your fingertips away. I love this stretch. This is another one I do very regularly. It's really relaxing. Walk the fingertips away a little bit more. This is a great stretch for your upper back muscles, your latissimus dorsi, and it's hitting the, the, the knees because it's important we stretch our joints and of course it hits the quads now this is a little bit more extreme for the quadriceps if you can sit back on your heels here and i know a lot of people find this very very challenging but again very good to try and introduce it to your body for five to ten seconds just come up out of it go back into child pose and come back in about 20 or 30 seconds later when your muscles have relaxed well thank you for joining me today i really enjoyed that workout and i hope you did too Drink your water as always, it's important to hydrate and I will see you in the next one. You did really well. See you soon.